Hello, veteran 0121 here. Welcome back, and we are let's play Nino Kuni: Wrath of the White Witch. And in the last episode, we found out the uh, Khalifa's favorite food is cheese. So we need to make some cheese out of this milk. Uh, or we could just cast a spell on it. Cheesemonger? Really? What exactly is a cheesemonger? But, uh, anywho, basically we're supposed to use s secret ingredient on this crap. And it will make some cheese for us. a lot of freaking cheese. It looks like we made some other crap on top of it. Like some cake and some candy and some other crap. <laughs> well, it was her fault, huh? That we shall, that we shall. Alright, well, is this master a bull? Shada, the stinking rot bag. Oh. Mm, what is that divine aroma? Abu! Here, your majesty. Bountiful Kaulifa, these humble servants come right? bearing most delicious tribute. Whoa. Heavens, what a dear sweet child. Bring it to us now, there's a good boy. Please. Huh? You want me to take it to her? Quickly now, young man, bring it to us! Wash. Hurry! Does she have a split personality or something? Fucked up and scary. Delicious cheesy wheeze. Do you have more for us? More? More! Bring uh, us more! Uh, more. Uh, 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 My name was Kaulifa. If you continue to eat so prodigiously, I fear you may burst. A bull! We are hungry! Your request does not go unheard, Majesty, but I fear for your bovinity's well-being. That there is one utterly broken heart. What? But... She might not look broken hearted, but depending on which bit of heart is missing, all manner of weird things can happen. See, what her majesty's lacking right now is a drop of restraint. Restraint? That's right. And without it, she can't control the urge to stuff her right royal face. We won't be getting any favors out of her until we've sorted this out. You mark my words. Okay. So we need to find some restraint somewhere, huh? That's quick of you, Ollie boy. You have been paying attention after all. Let's go then, shall we? 
Please, you must do all you can to help Her Majesty. Right. Sounds easy enough, but where do we get this crap from? that dude planning. Well, well anyways, yeah, we're gonna head to, uh, oh, we're gonna head to the, uh, the weapon shop, but it looks like we can, uh, we can talk to a few people in the shops here, from the looks of it. So let's do so. Maybe I'm supposed to talk to. You no, know, maybe I have to. Okay. supposed to hold on a minute all right yeah sorry for the interruption but somebody just told me that we're about to get six to nine inches of snow now mind you when this gets posted it's probably gonna be like not winter time anymore but I'm kind of recording ahead so uh, yeah I'm actually recording this uh, while I'm still posting FF5 and FF9 videos. Yeah, alright, so none of these shopkeepers are actually gonna tell us to go to the weapon shop, and obviously if we look at the map there, there's a star, so let's go to the weapon shop. That's probably where we need to go anyways. a pool sure that makes sense That's crazy. I wouldn't call that restraint. I would just call that crazy loyalty. But anyways, uh, now that we found out that it's a bull, and we didn't have to go that far anyways, uh, let's head on back to the palace.
Yeah, look at this place, huh? Pretty nice. Me? Impossible. of delicious cheesy wheeze. Yeah. She's definitely got cheese on the brain. She's a cheese head. I'm gonna cure her of that. Humble servants made your Majesty's ailing heart whole again. I pray that our beloved Caliph's most generous appetite has now abated. Well, now, we still wish to enjoy the finer things in life, of course. But we have come to feel that a measure of gastronomic restraint may serve to set a good example for our dearest subjects. Your words are music to the ears of your people. Al Mamun can return to its former magnificence. Indeed it can. And we are simply itching to return to our labors. Munificent Caliph, should these humble servants not be rewarded for their services to Al Mamun? Indeed they should. Boy, is there something you desire? Yes, Your Majesty. If it's not too much trouble. Well, what is it? We'd like to borrow your ship. Ship? Ooh, a little floaty wooty. Yes, of course. Uh, right. But of course you may borrow it. It is of little use to us. We will write a letter to the captain, ordering him to help you in any way he can. You will? Gee! Thank you, Your Majesty. Tidy! The boat is in the bag! But why in the world would a dear little thing like you have need of our floaty wote? Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Kaulifa, for our letter of passes that we needed. Well, we asked you a question, did we not? Well, uh... Go on, man! Okay. You need to find one of the great sages. The great sages? Yes, we are aware of them. Abul, 
We know of them, do we not? Indeed, most learned Khalifa, but little has been heard of such men since the magical arts fell from favor. Why do you seek the great sages, travelers? We need their help. We need their power to defeat Shadar. <gasps> what? Is... is something wrong? <laughs> we are not unamused. Oh, the laugh man is great. Very well, we will tell you what we know. You will? I can't wait to hear it. There were once four great sages. We understand that one of them was defeated by Shaddaa. Mom. Oh. But we know of one who did not perish. You do? Well, he lives in the land of Hamlin, a detestable and warlike realm. Uh, but he is a handsome young thing. We even keep a picture of him. A bull? Crikey, sounds like she's got a bit of a crush on the poor lad. <laughs> so this is one of the great sages, huh? That's a clue and a half, that is, Ollie boy. There's Lucky. <laughs> no. Before you take your leave, we shall teach you some magic to aid you on your journey. Really? You're a wizard too, your majesty. <laughs> well, not a fully-fledged wizard, perhaps, but we royals all know a few select spells. King Tom undoubtedly has a trick or two up his own kingly sleeves. He sure does. He taught me some real neat magic. <laughs> How quaint. We hope that you will find our own still neater. Here. Nature's tongue. Talk to animals. Uh, that puts weight on him. Freaking oh, yeah, something. That's a cracker, that is. A real classic, like. It's your lucky day, Oliver. Yeah. May it serve you well. Do be careful out there now, won't you? Yes, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. Right. So we now have the nature's tongue which will allow us to talk to animals and plants. That's pretty cool. And then we uh mm, let's see the other one we had. Is that up here? Burden. Weighs down certain subjects, slowing their movements. Yeah, that's like a spell that slows down it. It's kinda like the slow spell and except in this game it just slows their movement of moving around the battlefield, I guess. So that's pretty good. And uh, I guess it's time to go back. Oh wait, no, no. There's somebody here we can talk to. There is somebody here we can talk to before we head back to Castaway Cove. In fact, before we do that, why don't we just go in here first? Aaron board. Uh huh. Okay, there's some new errands we can do. Let's see if there's any new hunts. Yes, sir. Oh, no, these are the same ones we couldn't do before. All right. So yeah, it's a good idea to check back at Swift Solutions to see if there's any new quest 
stuff you can do, like hunts and errands and crap like that. Pigeons. Oh yeah, this this quest. This one actually took me quite a while the first time I played. Because I couldn't find the third pigeon. Sure. Alright, so let's look around. Yep, time to use nature's tongue. Just like that. Yeah, one down, two to go. I believe the next one we need to find is in the item shop. I can't believe it took me so long to find this one. I was wandering around the town for a good part of an hour trying to find this pigeon. I'm pretty sure it's in the item shop. I didn't even think to look in here though when I was first playing the game. Yeah, it's over here on the window, so. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. We already know what spell we gotta use. I'm just one more to find. That's the hardest one right there to find because you wouldn't think that a pigeon would just be hanging around on a windowsill you'd think he'd be outside right at least that's what I would think so yeah like I said it took me forever to find that freaking pigeon yeah blah 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 oops Yeah, these are some lazy, lazy pigeons. I don't want to fly. I have to fly so hard, so far, and so hard to deliver these messages. Err. Fuck up, damn it. Damn birds. But anyways, uh, once we've collected all the pigeons, talk to this guy again. And he gives us two phoenix feathers and 400 guilders. Very nice. You know what I haven't done in a while? Go back to frickin', uh, what is it? Go back to frickin', uh, Father Oak. Alright, back in the deep dark wood again. I know this is kind of monotonous showing this, but I want to get these extra items if I can. So let's talk to Father Oak, see if we can get something. I'm going to probably just end the, the, uh, the episode. Hello, Father Old Oak. Old Father Oak.
Yes, we did. Alright, we get three Phoenix Feathers, that's pretty good. <laughs> Especially you, Fairy. Alright, so yeah, we get something for the Magma Cave or whatever it was, so that's pretty good. And uh, we should get something else too when we come back. But either way, I'm going to end the episode right here. That's all for this episode of... You know, Cooney Wrath of the White Witch, and in the next episode, uh, we're going to head back to Castaway Cove and try and hit a ride on that ship. So there you go, this is Veteran 0121, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.